Hey guys, it's Roman here again, and this is the third part of this guide to getting the Criminal Mastermind Challenge completed. And in this video, I'm going to be covering the Prison Break heist. So this heist has four setup missions and the, and the main final heist at the end. The first three setups you can do in any order, and then you have to do the fourth one after those. So the first one we're going to look at is the stealing the plane from the airfield. And this one isn't too difficult, but I would recommend you take armoured cars, so the insurgents or the karumas, so that you can park them on the runway and use them as cover. And the basic tactic for doing this mission is to basically have, ev have one person cover in each direction, and that way you're never going to get people coming up behind you and shooting you in the back. So just dig in somewhere, find some good cover, and start taking out all of the guys in inside the airfield area to start with. And then once you've taken those out, more of the Vargo's gang members will start showing up in their cars. So you want to take those guys out as soon as you can. It is possible to take out the Vargos before they get out of their cars. It is a bit harder to do it, but you can shoot them through the windows while they're driving. And all, even though it is harder to shoot them like that, it makes it a lot easier than when they get out of their car and they start splitting up and it's, you have to take down multiple targets then. So just keep taking out the gang members as they arrive. And you're going to have around about three or four waves of enemies showing up before they finally stop. Also, watch out for the two large green fuel tanks next to the hangar, as they will explode when you shoot them. But you can use them to your advantage if you shoot them when there are enemies by it and you can take out quite, quite a few enemies by blowing those up just make sure you don't have any teammates next to them so now that everything's clear you want to let the the person you've selected to be the pilot needs to go to the hangar and get in the plane start it going and then everyone else needs to group up on the runway and start clearing the cars out of the way and there is a bulldozer just off to the side of the runway which is pretty useful for getting any cars that have been blown up out of the way if you're the pilot then make sure you wait until the runway is clear before you try and take off because you don't want to end up crashing into one of your teammates or into one of the cars that are parked on the runway and failing the challenge and start all over again then once you've taken off in the plane you just need to fly it back to the main airport in the city and even though it is a lot more fun to fly close to the ground I recommend that you play it safe and just give yourself a bit more altitude so you don't end up hitting anything and ruining all your progress so far. So the last thing you want is to be the one responsible for making your team have to start over again because you're trying to do a barrel roll under a bridge or something. So just be careful, be cautious when you're flying it and get back to the runway. And then use the runway to land because there's a lot of stuff littered around the airport that you can get your plane caught on and it'll just explode. So I'd use the runway and then just taxi over to the hangar. Once you get inside the hangar, head to the marker and it'll trigger the cutscene. And that's the first set of mission done, which is pretty easy. So just watch the cutscene and then it'll say that you passed the setup. And you can move on to the second one now. And the second one is stealing the prison bus. So for this one, again, you're going to want to take your armoured vehicles, like the insurgents or the karuma. So head over to the prison and before you, just before you get to the prison, you want to wait for the rest of your team to catch up to you. So that you don't trigger the prison bus starting to move before everyone's there. Then when everyone's arrived, you want to just follow the prison bus until it gets into the right location. So you want to wait until you get to this sort of overpass that goes over the highway. Now this is the important part, you want one person to follow the bus, and you want another person to take a left and go down this ramp, cut across the highway and come up the other ramp. And you basically just want to make a roadblock at the bottom of the ramp. And this on-ramp onto the highway is going to be where you're actually going to ambush the bus. So you're essentially going to have two insurgents at either end and you're going to block the bus in the middle so it can't get out. Make sure you take out the driver of the bus so it can't drive away. There's also a FBI, FIB car that's following the bus. So take those guys out as well. And you also want to get have someone get out and take out the chopper if they can with either like an RPG or a homing missile. But it isn't really going to bother you too much and they aren't very good shots. So you can just stay in your car if you want to just try and take out the pilot with a machine gun. And then you just want one person to get out of their vehicle and get into the bus. And make sure that the person that gets out of their vehicle doesn't leave it in a way that's going to block everything up. You need to be able to escape. Then the insurgents that are blocking the bottom of the ramp need to get out of the way. And then you want to take the prison bus, you can either follow the railway line, follow the train tracks and get into one of the tunnels. Try and lose the cops that way, which is okay, but it's not the best way. The best way that I find works is to drive the bus straight up the mountain on the right, as the cops won't follow you up there and it seems like the helicopters don't spawn for some reason. So just drive up the hill and use the insurgents to help push the bus up until you get onto like a little bit at the top of the hill, where you can just sit and wait for your wanted level to disappear. Then once your wanted level has disappeared, you can head back down the mountain and head over to the marker where I'll end the mission, where you just need to park it up in the shed. Then when you arrive, there'll just be another cutscene and then it'll tell you that you've passed. And once again, that's the second part done. So now you can move on to the third part, which is the police station. So for this one, this is the first one you're going to break up into two teams. So the first team I'll cover is Team A, they'll be the cops that go into the police station. 
So as soon as the guy finish talk, finishes talking at the very start, you want to get out your phone and dial 911 so you, need, so that you can get a cop car to come to you because you're going to need a cop car to get into the police station. Then when the cop car shows up, you can, if you're good enough, just drag the cops out if you time it just right and do them both at the same time and then that way you'll only get one star which is easy to lose but if you do mess it up a bit if you're not quite in time with each other then one of the cops could just whip out their shotgun and then they could kill you really easily like that especially as you aren't wearing your armor now so you can just shoot the cops if it's because it's a lot easier it's a bit safer to do that and then just try and lose the two star one level and drive into alleyways and stuff so now that you've got the cop car you want to drive over to the police station and pull up in the little parking bay out front and get out and make sure that you holster your weapon so you're not carrying anything in there. Otherwise you'll get alerted and it'll make it a whole lot harder. So just walk through the police station and on the right there's a doorway that goes into like a little office area. And there's a clipboard on the desk that you need to pick up and that's the one you need to take back to your apartment. So whoever picks up the clipboard needs to leave the police station. And whilst you're in the police station you want to make sure you don't bump into any cops because that'll get a want level on you. It doesn't really matter if the cops do get alerted, you can just fight your way out you won't fail the mission or anything but it makes it a whole lot harder and it lowers your chances of surviving especially as you aren't wearing your armor right now then whoever has the clipboard needs to leave and get into a separate car don't get in the police car you can call for your personal vehicle if you want and they need to drive back to the host's apartment so whoever hosts in the game they need to go back to their apartment won't the game won't tell you to do it yet but it saves a lot of time if you do that and then the other person who isn't carrying the clipboard can take the cop car and destroy it yeah, it just saves a lot of time so you're not both going to the same place and then have to drive to the apartment afterwards. So just take the cop car to this underpass that it tells you to go to and then you just have to use the gas cans to set the car on fire. Make sure it's stood away before you set it on fire so you don't blow yourself up or set yourself on fire. And then once the car blows up, the other person who's holding the clipboard will be able to go into the apartment and then that is Team A's job done, they've finished their part. So now if you wanted to call for your insurgents or your crewmen, you can actually help out the other team to escape from the city now if you want if you haven't already gone too far so let's cut back to the start of the heist and we'll find out what the second team team b should be doing for this now their objective is to go to the container ship at the docks and steal a car from there so to start with you can either help out the other team get the cop car or just go straight there it doesn't really matter and once you're at the ship there are two ways of getting on you can either climb the crane and parachute onto the containers on top so this is the faster method but it is a little more risky as it leaves you exposed while you're climbing the ladder of the crate. So it is a faster way, but it is a lot more risky. So just be careful if you do go for that option. And the second option, the slightly safer option, is to just use the stairs. And there will be sort of more enemies that you'll have to go through. But at least you'll be able to use cover and be able to shoot. As you can see, we had a pretty good combination of weapons going on here. We had one person using the carbine to suppress the enemies and get the close range ones. While the other person was using the marksman rifle to get the people way down the other end of the ship. And then there's a set of stairs that are quite close to where you get onto the ship. And you can go up those and climb on top of the containers. Which gives you a lot more protection than running down the bottom of the ship. So head up those stairs and get onto the top of the containers. And now you can just run along the top of the containers. Make sure you jump over the gap so you don't fall down. And head over to the far side where the car is. And you want to keep on watching the, the mini-map. So you can see where enemies are so you don't run around the corner and get shot straight away. And there should only be like one or two up on top of the containers. But just watch out for them anyway. And then when you get to the container just shoot the padlock off. And then you can drive the car straight off. And now it's just a matter of driving to out into the desert where you need to drop the car off. And you will have gang members and cops coming after you. And there's not really a lot that you can do about it. So it's up to the driver really to just try and dodge all the people. So you can at this point before you take the car. You can wait for your other team to drive over to you and support you with their insurgents or karumas. So then you take most of the heat and just ram the other cars out of the way for you. Which makes it a little bit easier if you want to wait for them. But once you get out of the city they pretty much leave you alone anyway. And then you just drive to the same place that you took the prison bus in the last heist. In the last setup. And that is everything for the third setup. And now that you've done the first three you'll unlock the fourth one. Which is called wet work where you have to assassinate a few people. And steal some documents. And this one, again, I'd probably recommend taking armoured cars, especially if you're on the first team that's going to the town hall. You'll definitely need them. And the other team that's going to the mansion, you might not need them, but it's probably better to take them just in case. The team that's going to the town hall, I'd recommend the Karuma, because you want something that's fast, so you can get away from the cops quite easily. So, first thing I'm going to cover is Team A's mission, what they have to do. And first thing you have to do is drive to the town hall area. 
they're going to get into like a lookout spot and you want to park your cars in this alleyway and then head up the ladder onto the roof and when you're on the roof head over to this marker and you can get up on this sort of higher part of the roof which is probably the best lookout spot and then you just have to wait for the car to arrive with the two people in that you're going to need to kill in a second so when the car arrives wait for the two people to get out and just wait for them to start walking up the stairs so they're spread out a bit more and then you need to communicate with your other teammate and work out which, who's going to get who, who's going to take out which one. So if you wait until they get on the steps, you can say that I'll, like, one person will get the left one and one person will get the right one. If you're unable to communicate with your teammate for whatever reason, like they don't have a mic, then I'd recommend using the marksman rifle just in case, because you can rapidly fire quite a few shots in a short space of time, because as soon as you fire, they'll start running. But if you do use the marksman rifle, then it'll take two shots for each person, so just be aware of that. Then when the guy's down, one person goes back down the ladder, and get in the Karuma and they have to drive around and pick up the briefcase that's on the steps now and whilst they're doing that a load of cops are going to spawn out on the street so the one person that's left on the roof is going to get a grenade launcher or an RPG or something and just start blowing up every cop car you can and basically give the other person cover while they grab the briefcase and then once it's clear or the other person's got the briefcase you need to head back down the ladder and you need to be careful of this because if there's cops down the bottom you'll get shot really easily because you won't be able to shoot back at them. So let your other teammate give you a bit of cover as you come down the ladder or wait until it's clear. Then both of you get in the Karuma. And the best route that we found to lose the wanted level is to drive through the construction area. And jump onto the highway and then go down the tunnel. That's a really easy way to lose the cops. And then once you've lost the wanted level, we'll just drive back to the apartment and drop off the documents. So relatively easy, and that's everything that Team A has to do. As for the other team, Team B is going to have to take out a target in this house up on the hills. And there are two ways of doing this. There's the stealth way, which is pretty easy. Or the loud way, where you basically alert the guard and get the target to start running and then just chase him down. And that way's a lot quicker, but target might escape if you're not quick enough. So to start with, I'm just going to cover the stealth way of doing it. So when you start off in the lay-by bit, you want to get out a silent sniper rifle. And the first target that you can take down pretty easily is the guy on the balcony on the house. And that shouldn't alert anybody. The second guy that you can take out is in the little lookout bit. At the end of the garden, looking out over the city. He's on his own, you can take that guy out and no one should notice. And then once you've got those two guys, you're clear to move up, so you can run up to the outer wall of the house. So climb over the wall and head towards the little garage building that's right in front of you, and just hide up against the wall of that. And then just watch the mini-map and wait until the guy on the far right sort of in front of the house. You can see him walking towards you and you just need to wait until he turns around and goes the other way. Then as soon as he turns around, you can climb up onto this roof and look over the top of the roof and you should be able to see the guy in front of the house, take that guy out. And then if you head over into this corner of the patio area, you can get up on here and you can just see the guy down on the lower balcony. So you can take that guy out pretty easily. So to get up onto the roof of the house, the easiest way is to get up onto the garage building again. And usually take your gun out and walk along the hedge until you get onto this roof. And then from that roof you can climb up onto the higher part, onto the main roof. And when you're up on the roof, it gives you a really good angle on every enemy around the house, which makes it a lot easier to take everyone out. And then your other teammate can stay on the ground and just take out the guys that they can. But whilst you're up on the roof, you want to head over to the opposite side, and you can take out one of the guys that's walking around this side of the house. So take that guy out. Then you can take the other guy out on the balcony in front of where the target is. And now that's all the guards taken out, so you're free to take out the target, who's just below you on the balcony. So you can just drop down and kill him. So you can just drop down off the roof and kill him and that's really the easiest way of doing it. And then you just have to run out of the house and get back to your car and you just leave the area. And that's everything that team 2 has to do. Their job is a lot easier really. It's basically what each team has to do for this heist is pretty easy one this one. So that is the final set of mission covered. That's everything you need to know how to do it. And now we're finally ready to move on to the actual heist, the prison break. So for the heist, there are four different roles and I'll cover each one. There is the pilot, the demolition, prison guard and the prisoner. Prison Guard and the Prisoner will be doing pretty much the exact same thing, so I'm going to roll those into one. And the pilot's job is really simple and straightforward. 
But basically to start off with, the pilot is going to need to go to the main airport in the city and pick up the plane that you stole in the first setup. So to take off in the plane and you want to head over in the direction of the prison but don't go any further than the sort of Vinewood sign because if you go further than that it will trigger the jets that will come after you. So if you stay behind the Vinewood sign until your timer drops down to about to around about 1 minute 30 I'd say just so you have enough time to get over towards the prison then and that'll give you as much time as you can before the jets actually spawn and come after you. So that just makes everyone's job a little bit easier. Then when the jets do start coming after you, the best thing to do is to let them come after you and turn very sharply and to try and get behind them. And then once you're behind them, slow right down and just constantly stay behind them. Don't let them get behind you again, as they can't. They obviously can't shoot you while they're in front of you. And because they're very slow and the AI isn't that great, they'll just keep constantly turning in front of you. And it's really easy to stay behind and you won't get shot at all. And in that way you don't have to rely on the person in the helicopter taking it out. Or having to dodge missiles from the jets. And you just need to keep on doing this until the rest of the team has finished their job. At which point you're going to need to pick up the two people escaping from the prison. And Machowski as well. So if you're a pretty good pilot you can land basically anywhere. Like we've done it a couple of times we managed to land in the desert. We landed on the highway, just wherever is easiest and quickest for the guys in the van to get in. But make sure you're confident with where you're landing, because it's very easy to just clip something and end up blowing up you and your whole team who are start from the beginning again. So if you aren't 100% confident with your flying skills, then you can always just land at the airfield. But it does seem like there'll be, there's usually more cops that come after you when you land there, and it's a lot more open and exposed. Then once the three other people have got into the plane, it's just a matter of losing the wanted level, so staying away from the helicopters. So to keep your eye on the minimap and as soon as the helicopter spawns you need to turn away from it until you lose your wanted level and then just fly up nice and high to where the marker is and then you guys will parachute out and that is everything that the pilot needs to do they have the easiest role they don't really have to do a lot so next up I'm going to be covering the demolition person's role so you want to get in a car it can be any car preferably a fast car is probably best and you need to head out to the other prison bus that's up in the hills driving around and you basically have to ambush it and steal it and then blow it up so the best way of stealing it is to drive past it get ahead of it quite a bit and then park up get out and line up a shot so you can take out the driver nice and easy make sure you give yourself enough room to get a decent shot because you don't want to mess it up and have the prison bus drive off and it's a lot harder to take it out if it does manage to get away from you then it's still possible to shoot the driver out fairly easily best way is to just drive Drive behind it and shoot through the windows and take out the driver with a headshot but it does make it a lot harder to do than just taking it out of the side of the road so try and get a decent shot and stop it from getting away from you at all then you just get in the bus and you have to drive it to the airfield just behind the sheds so drive it into the marker and then it's just a matter of blowing it up so quickest way is to just throw a sticky bomb on it and blow it up make sure you're far enough away so it doesn't kill you and then there'll be these red jeeps parked quite closely you need to get into one of those and drive straight down the runway to the very end and somewhere in that area there'll be a Merryweather chopper will be marked on the map and there's two Merryweather guys right in front of it and you need to take those guys out before you get in so try and get the jump on those guys, surprise them because it makes it a lot easier and go for headshots so you take them out really quick and then get in the chopper and then you can either help out the person who's in the plane by shooting down the jets but hopefully they're able to handle the jets themselves just avoiding them so the better thing for the person in the buzzer to do is to give support to the people who are in the prison because the two people in the prison have a much harder role they don't have any armor or anything and they're very exposed and there's a lot of cops that are coming after them so if you head over to the prison make sure you stay sort of fairly far away sometimes you can get rocketed from inside the prison so just stay on the outskirts and try and get lock-ons to people on the ground and to basically help the people through the prison and the prisoner and the guard are going to start near the main entrance and they're going to work their way clockwise all the way around so you basically just want to keep your helicopter in the right position so you take out all the enemies as they spawn and once you get to the other end of the prison, once you're back around to the gate again, you need to take out all of the cops that are in the car park so that they can't shoot the two people inside when they try and escape. And then once you've taken those out, no more cops should spawn. Now you just need to cover the two people that are in the prison as they make their escape. So cover the van as they're driving, take out cop guards, take out the helicopters as well especially. And you need to cover them while they make their escape and get into the plane. And be careful where you're putting these rockets so you don't blow up the plane or anything too close to the teammates. And you can also tell your teammates where helicopters are when they're taken off so that you don't accidentally crash into one which does seem to happen quite frequently on this mission and then when the plane's in the air the person in the chopper just needs to focus on taking out the other helicopters so that the plane can get away easily 
And then when everyone's lost their wants level and people in the plane are going to parachute out. So when you're in the chopper you need to just hang back and wait for the parachutes to land on the beach. Don't try and land first because you'll usually end up in some parachuting into the blades of the chopper. So hang back and wait for the parachutes first. Then once they've landed on the beach hopefully they'll move out of the way and leave the beach nice and clear for you. And then you can land the chopper on there and they can get in. And you don't actually have to land if you don't want to. You can just hover it just above the sand. And then that way you won't have the helicopters sort of slamming down or anything, the rotors hitting anybody. And then it's just a matter of flying away over towards the city and that'll be the heist complete. And that is everything that the demolition guy is responsible for. So he has a fairly easy role as well. But now the last few roles are the significantly harder ones. They have a lot more to do and they're a lot more at risk. So you want to put your best people on these roles. And basically what they need to do is drive to the bus to start with. Which is parked up at the scrapyard place. And they need to drive the bus into the prison. So you just need to sort of drive up to the gate. And you'll get like the guy will come out and say some stuff. And then he'll open the gate. And then drive straight down to the other end and get out of the bus. And now even though they make it look like you can do it stealthily. Or without raising the alarm, you can't. There doesn't seem to be any way of doing it, you have to raise the alarm straight away, really. So the best thing to do is to take out one person to take out the two guys by this door near the way you park the bus. And for the prisoner or the other guy to take out the guy at the far end. And I'd let the, per let the prisoner shoot first because it takes them longer to get their gun out. Because you have to break out the handcuffs first. So let them shoot first and then the guard can take out the other guys. So once you've cleared out all the guys at the bottom, then you can head up this ladder and up onto like, the catwalks on top of the prison. And just follow the catwalks around and watch out for the sort of one or two guards that are up on the roof. And when you go over to the other side you can now head down the stairs and into the prison yard. And just behind the big wall in the centre of the yard that's where Ashkovsky is. And you need to head over to him where he'll trigger like a little cutscene. And now he'll follow you through the rest of the prison. So as the prisoner just try and pick up any guns that you can like some machine guns and stuff. It'll make it a lot easier. Also the prison guard is able to drop one of their guns for the prisoner to use if they want. Just open up the weapons wheel and press things either Y or B to drop a gun. So for all of this bit inside the prison you just need to use as much cover as you can. And keep putting armour on, you need snacks to keep your health up. And just keep working your way all the way around the prison taking out guards and taking out the noose teams. If your demolitions person has done what I've said to do in this guide, then you should be helping you firing rockets down into the prison to take out guys as well, which is a big help. But you basically just need to keep working your way, work from cover to cover, don't stay out into the open too much, and you might have to keep running back to Rashkovsky because sometimes he stops. And when you get right away back to range by the main gate, there's a SWAT van that's open, you can get into that and make your escape in that. So wait until everybody's in and then just drive out to the main gate. And now you need to work out with the guy, with the pilot, whereabouts you want him to land and pick you up. Or you can just let the pilot decide where the best place to pick you up is. And when you're in a good position, then you all need to get out of the truck and get into the plane. So the prisoner and the guard need to get into the back of the plane and the Shkovsky will get into the front. And be very careful of the propeller, because I've seen quite a few people get killed by that, which would be a real pain. Uh, but you do need to be as fast as possible getting from the truck to the plane as it will be really easy to get shot at this point. To so get into the plane and now you just got to wait to lose your wants level and once you've lost it you need to get to the marker where it will then parachute out and you have to land on the beach and then the chopper will land and you have to get into the chopper and again just be careful to the chopper of the rotor blades you don't want to get cut up by them and then you and your team escape in the chopper and that is it that's the heist complete and that's everybody's roll covered and that brings us to the end of this video. In the next video we're going to be talking about the next heist and that's going to be the Humane Labs one. So if you want to see that video and the rest in this guide then make sure you subscribe to our channel if you aren't already. And feel free to share the video to your friends to help them get this done as well. And you can always leave us a comment and, and you can always leave a comment in the comment section below if you have a question you want answered. There'll always be someone to answer it. But that's it for this video. I've been Gromit. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next part for the Humane Labs heist.